Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we had uh, gone into the trailer park, saw Torin Odin, who said that uh, we are, um, that Saga is Tora's grandchild. Um, we went into the actual, the Anderson uh, trailer park and saw pieces of our life there, old life, when we lived there, especially like picture um logan's room a clip um like a newspaper clipping of when logan drowned drowned and just as the uh manuscript that alan had written um foretold we saw someone in um in a deer mask although they didn't attack us uh it turned out to be mulligan and thornton and we kind of chased after them into the, um, the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the bike garage of the local bike group. I forgot what they're called. The, it begins with a K. I, I'm, I'm terrible with names. Um, and it actually turns out that this place is, uh, at least a headquarter, maybe not the headquarters, but at least one of them of the cult of the tree. And we made some interesting discoveries reading their sheets, uh, their memos to each other, saying that um, they, when they captured, when they were trying to capture Nightingale at the beginning of the game, uh, <laughs> they didn't finish their ritual because they were caught by pedest not pedestrians, um, civilians. Um, they didn't get to use the clicker on them, which basically confirms that they have the clicker how these guys know anything about what's going on. We have no idea. I can only assume Mr. Scratch, um, is involved somehow. I mean, obviously he is, but, um, we also learned that the FBC is heavily involved somehow as well. And the cult of the tree has been keeping tabs on some of the residents of, uh, of bright falls. Name, namely, so far, Torin Odin Anderson, uh, Rose Marigold, the waitress from the Odier Diner, um, and uh, yeah, those two. And it looks like Mulligan and Thornton are actually members of the cult. Oh, here. Oh, the triangle, duh. I completely forgot. There's a whole triangle thing in, in control. The the pyramid. The upside down pyramid. And actually, I, I believe I made mention in one of the earlier videos. Like, what if it's actually the, the symbol has anything to do with the, the pyramid? I, I'd completely forgotten about it. it. I was too engrossed in this story and completely forgot about that. But anyways, enough speculation. Let's go down to the basement. A creepy basement. No, no. Shit. Hey, freeze. Vanished. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm really sorry. Before I continue, in the last video, I think I'd gotten some wires crossed saying, like, uh, Cult of the Tree, uh, they might be um, coerced by Scratch to Mr. Scratch to do stuff. Um, I, I, I misunderstood, in my mind, I'd misunderstood something. I think it's become pretty clear that the Cult of the Tree are not working with Mr. Scratch. It doesn't seem that way anyway, because the cult of the tree looks like they're trying to get rid of the darkness because they want the clicker to destroy the take. That's what it seems like. But how are so many of these guys 
um, possessed? I have no idea. I, I'm guessing it's Scratch writing the story um, to make everyone possessed, like all the um, all the members of the cult. I don't know. It, it, there's too many too many open ended questions. They're playing with me. I was so close. Get the clicker from Mulligan and Thornton. Oh boy. Oh boy. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker, left this monster here to stop her. There's an overlap here, like there was at Cauldron Lake. Mulligan and Thornton a light nightingale. Inside, waiting. And a parade float is the key. A taken is upstairs. This was a trap. I, I mean, obviously. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be attacked down here. Let me just read the manuscript page real quick. <clears throat> Saga had read about it. The trap. She knew what was waiting for her. The moment she saw the giant, she knew she wasn't ready. You let Logan drown. The weapon it carried could crack her skull like a brittle egg. Brains leaking out like yolk. Everything she loved, lost. Everything she was, lost. We will watch it eat your mind. Reading this made her sick. But the fear was sharp when she faced it. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there. Taken the clicker with them. Left this monster here to stop her. The deputies. Wow, they look they look fucked up. So becoming a taken. Mulligan and Thornton were fine earlier. How did this happen? A terrible mistake. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Shadows on their faces, filling the shape of them. Bright Falls fucking finest. Shitty pastrami sandwich. Mulligan and Thornton became like Nightingale. I mean, yeah. Mulligan and Thornton are members of the cult. Who's the leader? Brains leaking out like a yolk. The thrill of domination. Not one tree. A forest. The word. A secret like this doesn't die. There is more than one leader. Huh. Cultist room hidden beneath Elmo's motorcycle club. Um, That's not right. I have no idea where this would go. Oh, who's involved? Doi. Elmo and Yako Koskela. Highly unlikely the club would have a secret cult room below it without the Koskelas knowing. I mean... Yeah. The trail of the cult. So, clicker was taken from the altar. <laughs> there. The clicker was there the whole time. Fucking Mulligan and Thornton. So, clicker was in a secret cult room under the garage. Mulligan and Thornton beat me to it. I was so damn close. Mulligan and Thornton took it. Secret meeting room under the garage. That goes there. This is the Cult of the Trees headquarters. Yeah. Okay. They took the clicker into the overlap. How do I get it back? That's the question. Here we go. 
Oh. They move shit around. Forcing me to go around this way. Someone's gonna walk out of there. I know it. I knew it. Die, Jesus. Okay. Now where's that parade float? Oh birdie. The fuck? Oh, it's a bike. Thought it was a monster or something. Is this the parade float the page mentioned? What the hell? Oh. The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. At Cauldron Lake, giving the poem in the heart to the witch sign opened the overlap. Here, it's the parade float. But it's incomplete. So this is the Koskala Brothers parade float. Looks like only four pieces are missing. The mask is the only one without a location listed. Hmm. Gift shop. Easy. I have that one. Espresso Express. Got it. Okay. I can't make out what it says. Mask is scratched out. Yep. Fair trade fun zone. Yeah, so just the mask and the the motor control circuit board. Probably time to bring out my crossbow. <laughs> so this was the espresso ride, right? No power. Must be a fuse box around here somewhere. Oh, right. Doi. Oh. 
Let's see if I can stop it. Oh, I didn't think so. Alright. So how to get the clicker back. Mulligan and Thornton are in the overlap. Must complete parade float ritual to follow them. Uh, sounds like there's a ritual involving this parade float. Yeah, parade float needs... Whoop. So, cassette tape. Parade float has sound. Yep. Moose skull mask. Location is scratched off the list. Why scratch it out? Maybe someone doesn't want me to find this thing. Character should be moving. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ilmo stood in front of the parade float, turned dramatically to his crew. Now, imagine the murderer's arms moving. Stab, 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 and then Naki laughing. Everyone at Deerfest always plays it safe, not us. This monument to Watery's history, this work of art, will sweep this year's awards. The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. The killing of Monica Thompson was a terrible mistake. Thornton blamed Mulligan's itchy trigger finger. Mulligan blamed Thornton's shitty pastrami sandwich. They only agreed it wasn't their fault. No one will find her corpse. We'll hide it. They fed the body to the maw of a crumbling well, like the murderers who Atari brothers did long wow. ago. Wow. They lied to everyone. The word would never get out. But a secret like this doesn't die. It grew inside them, like cancer. The darkness taking over, filling the shape of them. So the, does the darkness only corrupt people that are, like, sinful? The Moose Skull Mask. The materials listed for the parade float mention a mask. Where is it? Poor Mocha Moose. He never felt to amuse me. Now we know, Ilmo, there is such a thing as too much coffee. Mocha will live on in a place of honor. He lost his head. Mulligan and Thornton had one job. Mulligan and Thornton must know where the moose skull mask is. I mean, it doesn't really help me. The mask is missing. Where is it? The dead brought back to life. The crown of the Grand Master. Moose steak is never a mistake. Just get it fucking done. They know where it is. I know they know. Oh my god. The moose skull mask. Where is it? Where is the mask? Go ahead and bleach it. We all bow to him. The mall of the crumbling well. Show the bitch who's mom. Mask is at the Huatari Well in Coffee World. I mean, we just passed it. I I didn't see it. Mulligan and Thornton, they murdered someone, dumped the body into Huatari Well. Um They hid their victim's body in a well. Maybe that's not the only thing they hid. Ilmo, Mulligan, and Thornton were responsible for the moose skull. Mulligan and Thornton screwed something up. Something to do with the skull. I saw something. Like I did in Cauldron Lake. The well, here in Coffee World. I know the moose skull will be there. It's right there. Whoa. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't see this. Oh, I needed the screwdriver for... No? Oh, right! He hides behind the smile. What hides behind the smile? That's true. I never saw anything there, did I? Okay, I'll grab the mask in a minute. There is the key. MNT were supposed to be on patrol last night, but didn't show. If anyone hears anything from them, let me know. MNT, Mulligan, and Thornton. Now I need to bring the mask to the float. Okay, since I'm in the light, I should be able to do this no problem. So the mask was at the well. The moose mask appeared on the well. So Mulligan and Thornton tried to hide the mask in, the, in well. Same as the vi body of their victim. Those monsters stashed the skull at the same place they hit their victim. Not very original. Cult of the tree. No found in cultus uh, stash mentioning M and T. <laughs> Confirmed cult members. There you go. And then the cult stash. This is watery. Note inside reference cult members M and T. So how does the map look? I actually haven't checked. Point of interest. With the... Um, locked door. Jammer's bucket break room. No, because I wanted to see where the uh, thing was. Um... Because it's supposed to show the um, container. Maybe it's these ones. Two bucks. Oh, cult stash. There it is. Yeah, I can't get to that yet. Oh, there's bolt cutters. Oh, I need bolt cutters. Oh, that's cool. It saves, like, the crossbow bolts information. Okay, anyways. The moose skull goes here, obviously. <laughs> oh, and then the... A little something to get those arms moving. Go. Let's get the clicker from these assholes. Of course, it would be down the well. You know what? Before I go down there, I'm gonna do a quick save. All right, let's get going. Overlap. If 
Fuck, man. Would you have the balls to do this? You see, like, a murder well with, like, lights flashing around it. Would you have the balls to go down there? Love a melee weapon. Like I know we got we got range weapons, but melee weapon would also be nice. You know. I'm out of the fucking... Once I'm out of the, the overlap. Well, they should. <laughs> Everything she was lost. Or his dark past. You know what this is? This is like some evil dead shit. Bring it, fucker. Like out in the middle of the woods. Dead by dawn, dead by dawn, dead by dawn. Only have one battery. The story is trying to take Logan. I can still stop this. I need the clicker. Anderson, the trick. He has it now. Wake? I saw him this way in the other overlap. Thing. It's a loop. Just like before. Well, some differences. For example, there wasn't a dead body before. Well, I say dead. But who actually knows?
Focus funeral. Okay, I think this might be a, a this might actually be a safe place. Um, I'm just gonna read the manuscript pages real quick. Whoops. Mulligan and Thornton in the wreckage of the morgue, shadows on their faces. Thornton did his best woman's voice. I'm a stuck-up FBI bitch. I make a big fucking mess and get these dumb backwater cops to clean it up. Thornton turned to his partner. These government motherfuckers. Next time, Mulligan, I'll tell her. You got no clue. You let your own kid drown. You're a fucking fraud. Mulligan leered. Pinning the murder on the bookers would have fixed this whole goddamn mess. But their kind always sticks together. I reckon we should show the bitch who's boss, Thornton. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Inside them, they grinned. Elma Koskela stood in front of the small gathering of Coffee World employees and bikers. He read from a piece of paper. Mocha was a wonderful moose who deserves a place of honor in the Hall of the Calavella Knights. His skull will become the crown of the Grand Master. The dead brought back to life. There was polite applause. After the service, Ilmo had the body hauled off to be turned into moose steaks. Mulligan and Thornton were told to get the head cleaned. They both grabbed an antler. What the hell, Thornton? I got it, Mulligan. They brought the skull into the workshop to boil it and bleach it. They grumbled. Wanted to just get it fucking done. It was just a stupid animal. But I guess moose steak is never a mistake, huh? I entered the watery overlap by completing the parade floats. The float was about a murder. The specific content of the art seems to be significant. Yeah. Okay. to go down yet again. This is a nightmare. I can't get through that. I need to look for another way through. Ati. See, don't fuck with me, man. I can't tell if it's meant to be guiding me or if it's baiting me. Keep 
You see that? Look at that. Did I just do a complete... No, I didn't. Baddies. Oh, thank God, more batteries. Only one? Oh, shit. These crossbow bolts are surprisingly powerful. Like, more so than pistol bullets, which doesn't really make sense. <laughs> I love you, man. I kind of wish he was looking like right at the camera, like right at right at Saga. RT, don't fuck with me, RT. Don't be like that, bro. It's not Ati now. It's the, uh... It's the float. Look 
Trapped how? What does that mean? The bodies change position. Oh no, there's a lot more bodies. Scared of going in here, aren't I? Something's gonna happen. I have a feeling. I hear the laughing. I thought that was footsteps. Like, fuck, man, I'm telling you, the audio, the sound design for this game is fucking perfect, man. I guess this is the fight. Um, I gotta defeat Mulligan and Thornton. Okay. You know what? I will take two more of these. Slot. Guess I'll do it. I'll do it up. Like, I I don't get tense in video in horror games. I really don't. This. Is actually putting me on edge. Like I'm not like scared, scared, but again, it's like anything can pop up anywhere. That's that's the tension that I'm talking about. I'm not actually scared. This this game's just fucking amazing.
destroy those pieces of darkness. Try and find them. the story but has it now it's the key to escape what do you mean escape you're already out so is scratch making progress i wrote to be the story's hero save her family save us all save her family are you talking about my family Yes, you know it's working. You just need to keep going. Did you put my family in the horror story? I keep seeing him in overlaps, but he's already out. Are these visions coming from the past, when he was still trapped in the dark place? I have the clicker. I can stop this nightmare. End of chapter. Wake said he could use the clicker to undo the horror story. I need to get back to Bright Falls, to Casey and Wake. I should check in with Casey. Okay. So, before I save there, let's put this shit up here. That's for later. Trail of the cults. Case closed. I need to get the clicker to wake and close this damn case before my family gets dragged any further into it. And I can't use either of these for right now. Uh, no new manuscript pages, nothing there. Okay. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Um... There's a lot of weird shit going on that, again, is still maintaining in my head that we are still in the dark place um the fact that alan can still talk to saga she's right it, it could be from the past because again time does work differently in the dark place right and we 
we always have had the option to play as Alan, um, to switch to Alan's story at any point. Um, and we're probably going to need to do that soon. Um, it, it, it did say uh, there was an optional... Uh, what is it called? An optional quest? No. An optional goal. To investigate the previously flooded area. Which I'm definitely going to be doing in the next video. There's there's a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of clues that I can still get. A lot of stashes. Uh, more of the rhyming stuff. Uh, that's probably in the area that uh, that is available now that the water has like, been pulled back. So I'm going to take care of that in the next video. And then most likely the video afterwards are going to play as Alan's story during Saga's time in Watery. <coughs> the fact that Il, um, Ilma and Yako are not who they seem to be, or at least there's more to them, it's not really surprising. The fact that they're cult members, the fact that they've potentially been lying to us, the fact that they're potentially even the killers... Uh, that threw the body down the well. I mean, I know that Mulgan and Thornton did it, but I think it was... I don't think that was the original story. Because uh, I think that story was set in like the 60s or the 70s, if I'm not mistaken. And Mulligan and Thornton, they killed someone else and dumped the body in the well. Because they're like, who's ever going to find it? So we shall see... Um, we shall see how it goes uh, in the coming videos. In the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.